we are back. Sorry we've left it so long. It is Easter Monday. It is our first day off. Monday is a Saturday for us, isn't it? This is Saturday. So it's, the, it's the first yeah. day of our weekend. And it is raining outside. We're having a cosy day in. So we thought, why not? come back and give you a home tour. We have about a month now until we go away again, and of course we'll be bringing you vlogs from that trip. But yeah, in the meantime, we thought, why not give you guys a home tour, let you in. We've got nearly 2,000 subscribers now, which we are so grateful for, and we just thought it'd be a good time to share a little bit more of our lives with you. But guys, just as Charlie just said, nearly 2,000 subscribers, that is mental. I just want to thank you all so much. We've had so many comments, so many that we're still getting back to them yeah, from, <laughs> from our Disneyland Paris vlog. But we have all intention of coming back to them. Yeah. So. And we're just so grateful. We've said it a few times on these vlogs. We just do this because we enjoy doing it. So to have the support of all of you is just amazing. So thank you so much. So guys, come on in. We are going to start with the kitchen. Fill up more cribs. So this is our kitchen diner. I think it's our favorite room in the house. We, whenever we have people around, we spend the majority of our time in here um, because whoever's cooking, we can all sit down and we can all enjoy, enjoy each other's company together. We get so much light coming here as well. Can you, is it, it's really bright today, actually. Yeah, it's really bright. Considering it's a really miserable day, it's raining <laughs> outside. But yeah, we just love it. It's such a social space. We live in a two bedroom house. We don't have the biggest house. So with the dining table, we really wanted something that was really simple, um, but quite sizey um, and nice. So what's, I have to say though, not very comfortable when you've been sitting there for a long, a long period of time. Oh, my favorite part of the kitchen is our American style fridge freezer. Should we show inside? Well, I mean, I, I wish I knew we were filming. I would have tidied it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's so tidy. <laughs> we have just been food shopping this morning. My favorite part of Easter. Oh, guys. yeah. Eggs. We've replaced the egg, <laughs> the egg holder with cream eggs. I had three last night before I went to bed. Terrible, really. And of course, our favorite beverage of all time, that's normally like that anyway. That's not just because we've just been shopping. Yeah, that is, that's normal for us. What else have we got? What have we got? We've got some wines. Oh, it's my friend's wine. Um, Tone, I need to give that back to you. We had a dinner party recently and she left a bottle of wine here. Uh, we've got some champagne, some Prosecco, some wine. We're gonna have some wine with lunch. Moving on from the fridge, we have our appliances. They are Smeg. Kettle, we never use, but we wanted to get the toaster and Charlie was insistent that we have to get a kettle to match. But people do use it. Our mums, they have teas and coffees. And we use it to make gravy. All of our appliances are from Neff. We had a bit of a toss up about the hob, didn't we boy? Actually, I, I need to clean that. Uh, we didn't know where to get stainless steel or the black gloss, but we went for the black gloss in the end and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Another requirement of Charlie's when we had the kitchen done is the marble goes up the wall. That is my favorite thing about, you said the fridge, my favorite thing is the worktops. The splash bank we have had all the way up to the underside of the cupboards, which I think is easy to clean. I think it makes it look really yeah. bougie. Another <laughs> thing, when we had our dinner party recently, uh, one of my friends came in and said, oh, what, have you not finished painting the cupboards? And I said, no, it's meant to be two-tone. <laughs> so for anyone who's wondering, it is meant to be this color. Just know this isn't shiny. Oh, um, another cupboard. Oh, right. This is another one of Charlie's things. We label everything. Got all different types of pastas. Oh, that tin of beans have seen better days. Cereal, cereal, cereal protein, protein. Another thing we love um, is stones. We've got quite a few um, stone vases. This one's from Neptune. And we have this one, which actually has a little sister. The reason this is here at the moment is because at work, um, we recently did a wedding and someone left all the flowers behind and they didn't want them all. It was a centerpiece on one of the tables, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, she didn't and want it. So I was like, I need that. And it's been over a week since and I think they're not looking too bad. Will was no, saying this morning. It's nearly time for them to go. Well, I think we could maybe get rid of a few of the flowers that- and Keep some of the nice Yeah. Ones. And behind the vase, we have a chopping board, which is not to be used. That is strictly for show. We have um, 
far less aesthetically pleasing chopping board. <laughs> <laughs> that was from Neptune as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I think it was really expensive. Was it like something like 80 quid or something crazy like that? But guys, that's the kitchen. Let's move on. Mimi? Hello, gorgeous girl. Hello. Who's daddy's girl? our downstairs toilet. Pretty basic really. We didn't change anything. The toilet and the basin were as they were when the house was built. And we painted all of the walls a little bit darker. Same with the bedrooms, you might notice. But other than that, the house is all one colour. This is, I think, my favourite part of the downstairs toilet. It is a copy of a Picasso picture. I think it's called Le Chien. Is that how you say it? Which means dog in Which French. Which means dog in French. Um, yeah, this came from Latham's home in Epping as well but John Lewis do something very, very similar. This has to be the best hand wash I have ever come across. Noir from White Company, Amber Mandarin and Sandalwood Cleansing Hand Wash. Highly recommend to a friend. I think that's about it for this little room. Leading on from the downstairs toilet is our living room. So come on in. This room is the darkest room in our house which probably isn't a pro, but we love this room so much, don't we boy? So we spend most of our evenings sat in the corner of the sofa, which I feel like anyone who has a sofa that's this shape knows that that is the golden seat. People get scared to sit on it when they come over. Yeah, and we're like, jump on it, get I'm, comfy. I'm not gonna do that now. <laughs> <laughs> but normally, that is where we lay. Um, so the sofa came from Next Home. The coffee and console table came from Latham's. The light, is from the white company and this chair is from ikea we did put a, a latham's cushion on it which is probably worth the same amount as the chair but <laughs> yeah but they are worth good. it because <laughs> we've had these cushions now we've got them every, everywhere um we've had them for years and they are so full with feathers that they are worth every penny. So this is our little book collection. So we started collecting pretty much as soon as we met. We've got Harry Potter, we've got some Disney in there. Oh, these ones in the middle are the Slytherin edition of the Harry Potter books. We've got Julie Andrews' autobiography, which is hand signed by her. Obama, and some fairy tale ones on the end there. The binders on these are so pretty. These bookends, by the way, for anyone who thinks they're nice from a Greek company and we actually bought them on holiday. If you've seen our old vlogs when we went to Aberton Island Resorts Bar in Greece, you can buy these there or you can buy them in Liberty in London, but they'll cost you a lot more. So I recommend a holiday. These mirrors you'll also notice dotted all around our house. These are from William Wood Mirrors Online. And we just love the simplicity, it is our style. It's not for everybody but we love things that are just that plain. The the frame is uh, a metal. Uh, like Charlie said, it's just the simplicity. We love it. Such a simple frame. This cupboard is the messy understairs cupboard. We're not gonna show it. We're not gonna show you that. <laughs> so guys, back to me. Follow me, we'll head upstairs. So at the top of the landing, we have this lovely like glass door and window, which leads onto um, a really sizable, actually, really lucky to have a nice terrace. Now it is in the middle of like sort of, we're coming into spring now. So we've not looked after it for months and months and months. But as soon as summer hits, we have it all cleaned up and it looks really nice. It's such a lovely sunbathing spot. It's a bit like a sun trap, isn't it boy? It gets quite warm out there. Also, um, I passed it on the stairs and I forgot to mention it. We have a picture, which a lot of people think is a picture of Hitler on the wall. Boy, how many comments have we had that it looks like it, they think we've got Hitler? Quite a few people think it's Hitler. But if you look closely, there is a shadow of Mickey Mouse. This is Walt Disney. Where'd you buy that from? Walt Disney Archives Fine Archives. Art. Oh, so it's actually got a certificate and stuff behind it, hasn't it? Has it has indeed. Yeah, we just had it framed. Again, a nice simple metal frame. That's from our local framers, actually with special glass as well. Non-reflective. I digressed with the Disney picture. Let's head on into the bedroom. 
This is the bedroom. This is where the magic happens. I'm just following the Cribs theme here. <laughs> we have a lot. Boy, what is the size of our bed? It is a king. King size bed. This is from Latham's in Epping as well. Um, a very nice home shop, quite local to us. Definitely recommend you guys checking them out on their Instagrams. We, again, we wanted to keep it super, super simple. So we've got some more William Wood mirrors uh, above the bedside tables. Some nice simple lamps from Heathfield and Co. And I don't know where the bedsides are from. Again, some more Latham's cushions that we've had for a couple of years now and still look brand new. Oh, actually that one's from Latham's as well. We normally have another big square cushion with the same pillowcases as these. So normally this is all sat forward a little bit more. It looks a little bit less extra today than it usually does. Yeah, it does but a little bit. Shall I do my infamous? Oh, the bed test, what's it like? <laughs> oh, what about what we got at Christmas? What did we get at Christmas? The mattress topper. Oh, the mattress topper. Tell them. So, in one of the holidays we went on, we was like, oh, the bed is so comfortable. And I feel like we've spoke about this before, by the way. But anyway. Well, I think we, you've got a friend. We was like, come in. It's a good girl. Good girl. So we thought the bed is so comfortable. Boy, it was Aberton. No, it was the holiday, it was the airport hotel was the Sofitel at Heathrow Airport. Was it? Yeah. And we looked underneath the uh, mattress cover to see um, why it was so comfy and they had a really nice mattress topper on it. So we went and bought one from the White Company and it just feels like you're laying on clouds. That's the bedroom. Here is our on I feel like I'm in a porn. I'm like... Yeah, it look, it, the shot looks really good though, I think. Oh. So here is our ensuite, which is actually Charlie's bathroom. So I'm going to take the camera and I'm going to let him give you a little tour of it. This is actually my side of the bed as well, which leads us into my bathroom. Come on in, it's only small, but I am only little, so it's all right. <laughs> Can you see okay? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's no escaping getting the camera in this reflection. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's just my tiny little bathroom. Toilet, towel rail. I recently got these new towels from Zara Home. They are really fluffy though, aren't, aren't they? they? They're so nice. It's really hard to move around, isn't it? <laughs> My shower is on this side. Right, let me squeeze through. Oh, should I get it? <laughs> that will give a small Get in the shower. There we are. So yeah, this is my shower. I've got the option of the uh, I thought rainfall. You, I thought you was going to turn it on then, no. just out of habit. <laughs> rainfall or normal. And then we've got all my products. We've got CeraVe for my body because I get very irritated by things that smell and yeah. stuff like that. Um, water flosser, we've got Zoe Bargy products, we've got Louis Vuitton fragrances, we've got the Tan Lux facial tan drops, Morto Bargy, and we've got Tom Ford, you know what it says. And that's it, that's my cute little bathroom. Baby, what are you doing? You wanna sit with your daddy? Where's Daddy? There he is. Hello, baby. What's he doing? You like belly rubs, don't you? Or she really likes kisses on the belly. <gasps> oh, Minnie. What are you doing? This is where she sleeps, by the way, guys. Right there. Oh, who's blowing raspberries? Is it Daddy? Oh, what's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? I love you. This is my bathroom. So Charlie's was all white marble and this one's all black marble. I have all the products I need out. I don't like clutter, don't like anything else. So I have my toothbrush. I have a pot here that I dispense my shower gel into and at my shampoo. Like Charlie's, I have the rainfall or the normal one. This is a bit dirty um, because they're being cleaned on Wednesday. So like Charlie has in his bathroom, I have all my fragrances out. So I've got the Armani Code, the new one with the Oud scent. I have Tom Ford Noir, the old classic Dior Sauvage and um, Jo Malone Oud and Bergamot with uh, my uh, Myrrh and Tonka. Home Alone Body Cream, and again, boy, the White Company Noir, which is, it smells really boy doesn't it? 
Oh, but it's just, it's just the yeah, best. I, know, I love smell that it. boy smell. Smell it, guys. Smell it. Guys, smell it. <laughs> <laughs> just want to point this out as well. Um, we When we went to the Titanic exhibition, we bought a poster and we decided to have it framed because Titanic's one of our favourite films. We actually love the story as well. And um, I just love, like, planes, big ships, like, big engineering. I just really like it. So, and the frames match. So let's go into the second bedroom, which is actually our dressing room slash boys' room because we have our workout equipment in here. We haven't used in about a year. But we've started our PT again. So we do plan on doing some home workouts. It's actually good equipment as well, we just don't use it. This is a new addition. This is when we plan holiday outfits, but also um, for my suits for work. So the restaurant I now um, work at is a fish restaurant. And Charlie says every time I come home, I smell of cotton chips. <laughs> don't know. <humble. laughs> <laughs> to me you do. So I had my suits hanging around the house every time I got home from work. So we decided to put them somewhere Nice, so they're not in the wardrobe, so my wardrobe doesn't smell of um, fish and chips as well. It's looking very dull at the moment because I don't have any of my white shirts on it. Minnie looking out the window, she likes to watch passers by. So can you see me? I figured out the other day, since we've started this vlog, or our channel, this is my fourth job. But this one's here to stay, guys. Absolutely love it. It's a really good job, so I'm buzzed to be there. Just to finish off this room, we have um, another of our William Wood mirrors, again with a simple frame. And we have a really nice John Lewis um, light, uh, light shade? Lamp shade. Lamp shade, uh, which Charlie loves because it's set, he says it reminds him of something the evil stepmother would wear as a hat in Cinderella. <laughs> But guys, that is all of our rooms. What about the wardrobes? It's not all of our rooms. I'm not going in the wardrobe. Show my one. Okay. My one. <laughs> oh, yours is quite tight. Yeah, actually. this is my wardrobe, guys. Okay, you know what? I'm going to show my wardrobe to show the significant size difference. So I have all my trousers at the bottom and, we like and to all my tops at the top. We like to colour coordinate the wardrobes as well. We do. Now, mine is significantly smaller and a bit messier. That's not organised and that's not organised. So, do apologise. Also, these lights, they always come on when we open the wardrobes. Um, but they need charging. So, I'm actually in the middle of doing it. Today. Guys, you might remember from our vlogs last year, if you have watched them, this flower bed. I had a really big problem with slugs eating the hydrangeas. Um, but the beer traps have been reset, which are these little things here. And that really does deter the slugs. So the hydrangeas have started to grow leaves. All three of them have actually. This one here in the middle, and then the bigger one here at the end, a little bit more established. We added some tulips, which are just coming through. And also these leafy looking things around the rose trees are alliums. So these will grow. Oh my God, I can see the little bud. That is gonna hopefully grow all the way up and produce like a big sort of purple flower. Yeah, the rose, the rose bushes, they're giving us lots and lots of leaves at the moment, but no roses yet. But it is early April, so there is still time. After all that home touring, I have prepared us a quick lunch. We've got some chicken tikka, some plain rice, Nando's Peronese, I've got a little dollop of hummus, just using that up. I've got some honey barbecue crisps, cheese and meats, as we call it. <laughs> what is it? What, what is it? Like a salami selection. And this Oreo, Oreo, if that's how you say it, rose was on offer today in Tesco for £6.50. So, boy, you're going to do the honour. This is what he does at work, guys. So, it's one hand. Glug, 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 glug. Actually, if we're gonna talk um, professional, you're meant to have your thumb in there, but I just never really feel like I've got control over the bottle. Oh, look at that. Guys, the new restaurant I work at is very, very formal. Hence why all my suits, uh, waistcoats, and yeah, I have to go to work in a three-piece suit, so I'm maitre d it up. So guys, that brings us to the end of um, our home tour. 
like we said at the beginning, we're just so grateful for all of you watching, um, the subscribers that have grown over the past few months. And we just wanted to put something out there for you, because I know we've got a holiday next month, which Charlie said we will take you along on. But that's, a, that's still a month away. And some of you are saying that you wanted, you wanted another video. So we thought, why not do a home tour? We love our home. We're such homeboys. We love being here. Um, can you hear the tapping of the dog's feet? <laughs> Hang on. Right. <laughs> As we were. <laughs> yeah, we just love being here. We, we don't really like to go out too much. We just want to spend nights at home and be all cosy, much like we are doing today on our day off. Guys, leave us any comments if you've got any questions about anything you saw in the house. And as Will said, we will see you next month. We're not going to say where we're going yet. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. It really, it, it, it really is so, so appreciated. We just like that you all watch it, but hit that notification bell so you'll get notified when we upload a video. And we will see you soon in the next one. Bye, Bye guys. guys.